It's breakfast time at the Myers home in Mannheim. The family of four consumes lots of electricity and is now taking part in a pilot project to cut energy costs automatically. The energy butler takes care of it all. The small computer turns on appliances when electricity is cheapest, at night for example. That helps the Myers save money. Well, now we fill the dishwasher during the day and it runs some time overnight. We used to run it in the afternoon, now it's mostly at night, but that doesn't really make a big change. Trials are still ongoing, with 200 households taking part. Mannheim's public utilities are spearheading the drive, and the Myers are counting their savings. We just got the January bill and saved 7 euros on an electricity bill of around 70 euros. The energy butler was developed by this medium-sized software firm in Mannheim. Close to 50 engineers helped create the prototype, which is still in the testing phase. Here I'm developing the hardware component of our modem, our circuit board. The components, the wiring diagram, all of the electronics which belong to it. The company wants to market the device across Germany and must therefore be familiar with the different electricity meters and networks in use around the country. The software firm's owners and the Mannheim Public Utilities have been cooperating since 2008. They own the patent on the energy butler and hope to earn millions when the software is sold nationwide. The energy butler architecture seat for the architecture of the energy butler means that the burden can actually be shifted. We need cities with clean air, energy displacement. We need decentralized power generators which can adapt. Meanwhile, the Myers have also hooked their washing machine up to the energy butler. They've thrown in the laundry and the detergent, but the washing program will only start at night when the energy prices are at their lowest.